What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove a tap handle that has no screw or cap. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so we need to remove these handles here to replace the washer on the spindle. You can see here the tap is dripping non-stop and there's no visible way of actually removing these handles. Nice and solid, you can see here there's no outer cap, no screw location or allen key or anything visible that's actually holding this in place. If somebody doesn't show you or tell you exactly how to do it, there's absolutely no way you're going to figure this out. The first thing we're going to do is shut off the main water supply. Alright, so now we've got the main water switched off. You can see if we undo this one here, there's no water coming out. And if we have a look at this one here, you can see it's a little bit wobbly. This one here is nice and tight. That tells me somebody's been trying to take this off by force and haven't succeeded. What you need to do is first of all remove the back nut here. And there's two ways that you can do this. The lucky way, if you're lucky. Um, in this case, we might actually be lucky. And then if you're not so lucky, I'm gonna show you guys as well um, how to remove the actual handle. Now, if you're lucky, you'll be able to gain access to the back spindle here, not sure if you guys can see right there, you can see the brass section of the spindle and you'll be able to get an adjustable wrench, once again if you're lucky, remembering these ones here are on a tiled surface, so that means the tiles are packed out a bit and the spindle is recessed into the wall, so you might not be able to get your adjustable wrench in there without actually removing the handle. So like I said, if you're lucky, you can get your adjustable wrench on there and you'll be able to back this one here off, which we are in this case. So I'll quickly just loosen it. You can see there, it's now loose and I can remove this spindle if I want. However, what I'm gonna do is put this one here back because not everybody is lucky. All right, so that one there is nice and tight once again. We'll put our cover plate back on and thread this one here back on. I think the person that designed this little feature that you guys are about to see wanted to make everybody's life absolutely very, very difficult. So what you need is this little tool right here, which is a tap handle removal tool. It's a little specialty tool and it's got two little prongs on there. What you need to do is put it in the back of the actual handle. So I'll try to get my hands out of the way. Slot it in the back like that, and then there's gonna be a little nut in the back. Now these little teeth here are gonna bite into the groove at some point. So what we need to do is just simply push it in, slide it around until you feel it bite in, and then twist it off. Remembering lefty loosey, righty tidy. Keep undoing that one, and eventually the handle will come off. So I can feel it, it's biting and removing it. Whoever created this idea, I hope you're still not in business, because this is a ridiculous, that's part of it. Ridiculous little removal system for just removing the handle. Once I pull this one here off, I'll show you guys a bit of a close-up so you know exactly what it is that we're doing. All right. So if we have a look there, it's got threads on the inside. We've got this little locking nut here, which locks everything into place. And you can see those little teeth on the edge there. That's what that little tool is actually biting onto. Worst little design ever. I can't believe somebody actually thought this was a good idea and decided to do it, but that there is how to remove it. So now that we've got this one here off, we can remove our cover plate. And now we've got full access uh, to the actual spindle. Now, once again, if you're unlucky and you still can't reach it with the um, adjustable wrench, I like to use tube spanners, which I'll show you guys now what they look like and how to use them. All the links are going to be in the description, so in case you're stuck. Alright, so these are the tube spanners here that I use to remove spindles, especially when they're recessed really deep in. It comes with a whole range of different attachments that fit pretty much any spindle out there. This one here can be put over the top and used as leverage or an extension. Once again, you can put your adjustable wrench on here and back that one there off, or you can use a little rod that it comes with, slot that one there in, and then just twist it over to the left. Once that comes off, we can then remove our spindle, pull out that damaged washer that's been causing all these problems, 
and that there is the cause of our issue here. So you can see there where it's completely recessed in, it's got a little groove so water's been traveling in and out and also the side of the washer here has been nicked. If I press this with my thumb, it's no longer soft, which means it's not gonna be clamping down as nicely as it should. So we'll quickly replace this one here. So we've got our new washer, put that one on top, twist it back on. We'll lock everything back down. Once again, you can use that extension rod. That's nicely locked. Now we can return our tap handle and cover plates. So when we slide that tool into the back, what we're doing is just simply locking it onto the teeth here. You can see side on, it locks in on those teeth, and then we can use that to pry everything out or to remove it or tighten it. So to put everything back in, we need to put our little locking nut here back in, making sure that the grooves are facing out, otherwise you won't be able to tighten it and also remove it. Take that little circlip, drop that over the top, put the handle back on, and then we're gonna slide the ring back up, tighten it on by hand as much as possible. Once you've got that one there in as much as possible, we're gonna follow on with our little tool here. All right, so once that's on, we can now close our taps back up, switch on the water, and make sure that this is no longer dripping. So now the water supply is back on, you can see there's no more dripping. Open up that tap, close it back up. Perfect. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time I'm Bill, thanks for watching Bill's How To.